So gut. Mhm. Aber eine Sache habe ich noch, bevor wir äh, groß einsteigen heute in das äh, Wheel of Pain, äh, weil, wir, weil ich gerade abschweife gedanklich und nämlich immer, ich mich ganz kurz mal wieder zurückholen muss in die äh, reale Welt, also in die Welt des äh, Unterhaltungsprogramms. Äh, ich habe nämlich äh, was Schönes gefunden. Oder es, sagen wir mal so, es wurde mir in die äh, Timeline gespült. Und zwar ist hier ein YouTube-Kanal von äh, Sim Racing Dan. Und äh, der hat jetzt im letzten Jahr, also bevor, als ich reingeschaut habe, bis heute hat sich bei dem so viel getan. Und er hat ein sehr schönes Video dazu gemacht. Und zwar From a Dream to Reality, my new Sim Racing Room and Studio Tour. Und das würde mich mal interessieren, wie bei einem Content Creator Kollegen das Studio aussieht. Weil ich glaube, das wird mich richtig aus den Socken knallen. Los geht's. Oh, schön. Hey, ich bin übrigens nicht der Einzige, der zwei Ricks hat, ja? Oh, das sieht richtig schick aus. Das sieht richtig schick aus. Ist das so eine Honeycomb-Wand? Ja, ne? Sieht so aus. Oh, das... oh, der war so schlau. Der hat seinen Rick einfach auf Rollen gestellt. Einfach schon wieder so ein Zwölf-Head. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm finally thrilled to take you on a tour of my brand new and improved sim racing den. This isn't just any room, it's a dedicated haven for sim racing, reviewing state-of-the-art hardware and of course creating engaging YouTube content. It wasn't that long ago that my passion was confined to a small corner of my home office. Well, things have dramatically transformed now. Wollte ich gerade sagen, das haben wir jetzt, glaube ich, vor einem halben Jahr haben wir das geguckt. Deswegen hat mich das so gewundert, dass es jetzt so aussieht. I have a fully dedicated space featuring not one, but two sim rigs. The centerpiece is my primary rig with a triple screen setup mounted on the robust ASR Pro chassis from Advanced Sim Racing. But that's not all. I've also introduced a second test bench rig generously provided by Six Sigma Sim Racing. This addition is a game changer, allowing me to swap and test various wheelbases and pedals without the hassle of dismantling my personal setup. Every inch of this space... Ah, dachte ich mir auch und baue mein großes trotzdem andauern auseinander. <lacht> Scheiße. ...space is meticulously designed for showcasing and storing sim racing hardware, creating dynamic shots and providing the perfect backdrop for filming the channel's content. It's a dream realized having a dedicated space like this. And I can't wait to dive into all the details with you. Just richtig cool. So buckle up and let's start this comprehensive tour of my ultimate sim racing den. Let's dive right into the heart of the sim racing den, my personal rig. This setup has gone through many changes. It's a constantly evolving journey to improve my overall sim racing experience. The foundation of it all, the ASR Pro chassis from Advanced Sim Racing. I chose this cockpit even before becoming affiliated with ASR as it represents the top status in their lineup. With a robust aluminum profile with eye-catching flat face design, it promises a sturdy and flex-free experience for high-end hardware. It's future-proof too, ready for a deep box motion setup. My Ooh. choice was this sleek infinite black design, but ASR offers various options even custom paint or vinyl wrap. My go-to wheelbase remains the SimiCube 2 Pro with its 25 Newton meter motor delivering an incredible realistic driving feel. For pedals, I swear by the Heusingwelt Ultimate, which offers the perfect braking feel and extensive adjustability. 
My shifting setup includes a dependable Fnatic shifter, a holdover from my first rig, and a top choice still for its reliable H-pattern shifting experience. For sequential shifting, I often prefer the Octane Designs SEQ V2, a product that impressed me with its build quality and performance. Beside my wheel, you'll find the Precision Sim Engineering Pro Switch Panel, an essential for quick and tactile car controls. It's compact, intuitive, and customizable, with geil. SimHub integration for in-game telemetry. On the left, I have gadgets like the SimPush Lumerake Replica for additional race info and a Stream Deck Plus for controlling various functions including my PC as well as the lighting in the room. Above the wheelbase, I switch between dash displays like the Grid DDU 5-inch or the 10-inch Porsche 911 Replica. Easily swap thanks to oh, this Porsche thing. Ne? Mm, da bin ich auch schon überlegen, ob ich mir das selber mache. Oh, oh das ist so geil. Aber es ist so teuer. Mm. So the SimCore Lev 1 mount. Underneath the chassis is a must-have for me, the Butt Kicker Gamer Pro, which enhances the sim racing experience with haptic feedback. My wheel collection is ever expanding, thanks to review units from various brands. Some of my favorites still include the Grid MPX, the Grid Porsche RSR Replica, and most recently Gomez Sim Industries Hyper P1. Ooh. For displays, I'm using a triple screen monitor stand from Advanced Sim Racing, which supports three Samsung Odyssey Curve 32-inch monitors with a 1440p resolution and up to 240Hz for fresh rate. Hidden behind are essentials like power bricks, a USB hub, and the Race Sim Studio Wind Kit fans, doubling as a personal air conditioning system. To aid in content creation, I use a mounted Rode mic and a Razer Keo Pro Ultra webcam mounted behind an Elgato teleprompter, with audio handled by my Logitech headphones or a 2.1 Logitech speaker system. As the demand for doing sim racing hardware reviews grew, I found myself constantly disassembling my rig to accommodate new gear. Mm. This process led to alterations in my preferred setup and I needed a solution that would allow me to test new hardware effortlessly without disrupting my primary setup and enable me to conduct back-to-back -back comparisons. That's where the addition of a second test bench rig became a crucial goal in the new and larger space. Thanks to the support of Six Sigma Sim Racing right here in my hometown of Toronto, this oh. dream became a reality. They generously provided their 6S120 cockpit, a robust and highly adjustable rig designed for compatibility with various brands or hardware. The 6S120 boasts a standard wheel deck with height, distance, and angle adjustments, along with a performance pedal plate for direct mounting of pedal sets and heel plates. It even includes a shifter and handbrake plate plus a convenient mouse pad for PC control. In this setup, I'm currently using the VNM Simulation Lite pedals and a new button box with a Stream Deck mount from Racebox Sim Racing. The primary wheel at the moment is the Moza R12 wheelbase, which I reviewed a few months ago. To complete the package, I've added a single monitor stand from ASR holding a 43-inch Sony TV. I opted for a single monitor solution with this rig, as I already have a triple screen setup this allows me to try out different display options and test different equipment, like ultra-wide monitors, as well as test out VR using my Varo Aero headset. This rig is designed to accommodate anything from budget-friendly gear to high-end peripherals and is going to be ever-evolving as I geworden. continue reviewing different sim racing hardware. That's schon wirklich sehr schön geworden. A huge thanks to Six Sigma Sim Racing for providing this chassis. If you're curious about what they offer, you can find a link to their website in the description below. To facilitate filming and easy adjustments to the rigs, I've equipped both of them with industrial strength caster wheels from ASR. These wheels make moving the rigs for better filming angles and changing equipment an easy task. When locked, they provide exceptional stability ensuring a rock solid experience while driving. Ja, und dann hast du das Problem, irgendwann, wenn du dir ganz viele Buttkicker ran machst, äh, deine Nachbarn hassen dich, wenn du das auf Rollen hast. Scheiße. Each rig is a self-contained unit with all cables for hardware and power mounted directly to them and routed along the profiles. This means each chassis has only two outgoing connections, one for power and one for USB, thanks to power bars and several powered USB hubs. Relocating the rig is as simple as disconnecting these two cables. Monitor connections stay with the monitor stands, which are separate from the rigs themselves. That's from so creative cable management made this possible, and the results really speak for themselves. 
Both rigs are powered by the same PC, conveniently located on an IKEA Besta unit in the center. Schön. Vielleicht doch noch mal Zeit dieses Jahr. Ah, vielleicht doch noch mal dieses Jahr. Hmm. Of the rigs, which also hides away another power bar and storage for things like keyboards or accessories when not in use. When it comes to conquering the virtual track, every frame counts. That's why I've meticulously crafted this high-performance sim racing PC designed to deliver maximum graphics, ensuring it can handle the latest and future gaming titles with ease. At the heart of this powerhouse is the monstrous ASUS ROG RTX 4090 GPU, a graphics card that redefines what's possible in the world of gaming visuals. Paired with an Intel i9-13900K processor, this rig is built to handle even the most demanding titles with optimized graphics and frame rates. To ensure that everything stays cool under pressure, it resides in the NZXT A... Ja, 4090 is schon... Hmm? 4090 is schon banger, muss ich auch sagen. Ha! Ma! Hat nur ein halbes Vermögen gekostet, der Scheiß. H7 Flow mm. Case. This case is all about optimal airflow, keeping temperatures in check and maintaining peak performance during those intense racing sessions. For a comprehensive... Ich hab ne 4090 OC list of the hardware and detailed specs, check out the link in my description. You'll find everything you need to know about this sim racing PC, as well as links to all the parts that were used. On the side of the room, I have some artwork from one of my favorite sources for high quality original posters, Automobilist, with a small metal shelf from Ikea for displaying different items and wheels. In the middle of the rigs is a giant custom made metal sign of my logo from AF Cultures. This was a piece I was really excited for and it really enhances the studio feel of the room. This is true. On the adjacent wall is one of the focal points of the room, a massive floor to ceiling backlit pegboard that showcases and displays some of my sim racing hardware collection as That's well as review chick. units when not in use. It also doubles as a great way for storing and displaying my growing wheel collection. In order to make sure the pegboards were sturdy enough to handle a lot of weight, I framed it out with some pieces of wood that were directly screwed into the wall studs, then ran some LED light strips behind for some extra ambiance. Speaking of lighting, all the lights in this space are smart home enabled, allowing me to easily change the vibe and the look of the room with ease when filming different scenes. Da hatte ich überhaupt gar keinen Bock drauf, ne? Bin ich ganz ehrlich. Also da hatte ich wirklich überhaupt gar keine Lust drauf, hier diesen ganzen Bums. Nee. On the ceiling, I have a track light from IKEA installed with Philips Hue bulbs so that each light can be changed to enhance the room. Behind both rigs are Govi floor lamps that can be customized with gradient lighting scenes. Underneath each rig are some light strips from Miros that add a really cool touch. Lastly, behind the rigs is a workbench from Canadian Tire that gives me a dedicated space to house various tools and hardware that I need to maintain and adjust my setups while also providing a place to configure and adjust hardware as well as film reviews or tutorials on. The pegboard has many items I use frequently and the drawer contains every tool a sim racer and YouTube reviewer would need. When I envisioned this room, I wanted it to mm. be a haven for immersing myself in the sim racing world. It needed to be a multifunctional space, a place where I could tinker with, test and review hardware and create engaging content for the channel. I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. But as you know, these projects are never really finished. I have more ideas to enhance. Ja, ich hasse dich jetzt schon. Ich bin im August umgezogen und denk mir gerade so, mein Raum sieht schon wieder aus wie Kacke. So ein Ding ist das nämlich. Scheiße. Enhance the space further, and I'm sure it will evolve and change over time. Hm. First and foremost, I want to. Stuhlsen wollte doch sowieso mal vorbeikommen, hat er gesagt, ne? <lacht> du Stuhlsen, äh, ich hab da also. Hm. To extend my heartfelt gratitude to my amazing wife, her support. Understanding, patience, and encouragement made all this possible. She played an integral role in helping transform this space, from lending a hand with the pegboard project to helping paint the entire room. I couldn't have done it without her. A massive shout out also goes to my incredible brother-in-law who came to the rescue during the laminate flooring installation. His expertise was invaluable and this project wouldn't have reached its completion without his assistance. I'm immensely proud to say that everything you see in this room was achieved by us without the need for outside contractors. Albeit with some simple renovations, still, for someone like me who isn't particularly handy, it was a journey to get here, and I couldn't be happier with the final result. 
Thanks for watching and I hope this video may have inspired you for your own sim racing setup or space. Yeah. I look forward to filming more reviews and content in this new dedicated studio. I definitely have some catching up to do now that this project is finally finished, but content will be more frequent and consistent going forward. If you subscribed already, thanks so much for your support. And if you have not, I would encourage you to hit the like button below if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Until the next one, stay safe and happy racing. Danke Dan. Das ist übrigens auch ein Kanal, den ich euch wärmstens empfehlen kann. Also das sind so schöne Videos, also die sind so ästhetisch und toll aufbereitet. Absoluter Leckerbissen. Absoluter Leckerbissen. Und das ist so ein schöner Raum geworden. Also sein voriger Raum war schon echt schön. Den haben wir uns ja auch angeschaut mal. Aber der hier, mh, richtig lecker Schmecker. Super angenehme Stimme. Hier ist das Video übrigens. Oh, jetzt habe ich schon wieder das dringende Bedürfnis, ganz viele Dinge anders zu machen. <lacht> Scheiße. Mann!